I had not planned to do a video, but I forgot to mention something to you guys. Okay, so as you know, I'm on a debt-free journey, and um, I'm trying to save everywhere I can, but I realized that even though when my debt-free journey is over, I'm still going to cut back where I can and save where I can. And years ago, I saw a video where people were making DIY um, laundry detergents. So I bought some of the stuff. I actually still have the stuff. I've had the stuff for a couple of years now. And for some reason, what was I thinking about? <sighs> this detergent. I was thinking about this detergent. I'm thinking there's got to be a DIY dish detergent. And all of a sudden, when I pulled up good old YouTube, there it is. DIY dish detergent and DIY laundry detergent. And what really got me was I saw people, um, how do I say this? You know, people take things since anyway, I saw black people, you know, and I was like, wow, that was really good to see, um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, and I was like, okay, all right. So everybody's about that life. Cause you know, normally when I pull things on YouTube, I don't see much of people that looks like me. So it was just nice to see. So I got to thinking, I was like, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You know, I have, I went before I went on my debt free journey, I went couponing and got a bunch of tissues and dish in, and laundry detergent and the dish detergents I was getting because I was doing Dollar Tree returns, which I was doing one tonight. Um, I'm almost done with the returns and then I do a video on that, but I also realized something. Oh, before I get to that. So on the, um, on the YouTube channels, they were showing the different, um, soaps that you can use for, um, your dish detergent and for washing your clothes. And this was the number one one they talked about. It's called Zote. I don't know if you guys can see it. Z-O-T-E. And you find this in the Hispanic grocery stores, but Walmart sell it too, but I couldn't make it to Walmart, but this is like $1.69. So like I said, I have cash in my pocket. I had about 13, 13, but I spent this is like 169 and I know it's cheaper someplace else. And then I found this and this is a laundry stain remover bar. I found that and that was, um, 139 at KJ's. It used to be our buy low hair. So I went ahead and got it cause they were under $2 and you know, like I said, I have pocket change for little things. I still don't have all the stuff for it, which I'm not going to go for it now. I will need some baking soda, but I'm going to get two of those. They're a buck, but that's when I get paid and I, you know, take the little change out of my paycheck that I put in my pocket. I get it then. But this right here, I'm actually going to use, um, when I do the DIY, um, dish detergent, but let me, let me put you guys on game on something that I just realized I'm going to get more in detail about these. I'm going to try this a little piece of this and let you know how it works. But I noticed and I get my Dawn from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So let, let me let you take a look at this. This is a Dawn with the little ducks on it. And I don't know if it's in focus. So I go, it says Dawn Ultra special value three time um, grease cleaning power. Okay. So I go to the Dollar Tree and when I do my exchanges, I get a whole bunch of these. Like right now, I think I have about four or five and that's, that may not be including this. So, and the thing about the, um, the little ducks on them, I'm not sure if you guys know, um, there was an oil spill someplace and some ducks and some birds or whatever had the oil, like all in their feathers and stuff. And they had the hardest time. And this is what got it out the dawn. So that's why they push it and put the, the, the little ducks or whatever in front to sell it. All right, cool, whatever. But I kept noticing, and I noticed it for a couple of years, but I noticed that the consistency of the Dawn is changing. It's quite watering. It's not as thick as it used to be, and it really don't cut as much, and I have to use a whole lot. I mean, I don't have to have such, but I want to know that my my dishes aren't greasy. And when you really sit down and think about it, and some people may not go this route, I'm going, I mean, to each his own. It's just soap. That's cleaning your dishes. So it's it's cleaning the 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 old food out. It's cutting grease. It's cleaning. So it's not disaffecting anything. So I was like, okay. And I thought about that. So I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can find something else. Because when I go to the Dollar Tree, I would I don't I've never in my life bought cheap dish detergent. Never in my life. Ever ever ever. Well, this is totally. This is LA Awesome Advanced Cutting Grease Formula. Ultra concentrated dish liquid detergent and it's called Oxy Blue. Okay, and this is at the Dollar Tree. And this is 15 fluid ounces for a whole dollar. All right, consistency. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to give you an idea of the consistency. It's like, it's about the same to me. And see, I'm confused because like on the back of the Dawn, it's a lot of ingredients. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. On the... LA Awesome Dish Soap, there's not a whole lot of ingredients. The consistency, let me see if you guys can see. That's the consistency. This is the consistency. This one, it's hard for, I, I, I hate that. If I cut my light down, you're not really going to see. Like, it's not as thick as it used to be. It's hard for you guys to see the consistency of it. Let me make sure these tops on here. Before I do this, I was looking to see if one is water waterier than the other one. But anyway, so I have a I have to use a lot more of this to get what I need. I just used a little bit of this, and it wasn't filled to the top. And not only did I get such, like it's clean. It cleaned my pan. It really cleaned my pan really good. Like it washed it and there was no grease. So I'm starting. I don't know. I, what I'm going to do is I have more returns I have to do. And I hate to have to like, well, I'm going to just hold back on the returns. That way when I do the returns and this work out the way I want it to work, I'm going to load up on these. Yes, eventually I am going to um, do DIY my own um, liquid detergent, but I have a lot of returns that I'm taking back to Dollar Tree and getting stuff that I need for the house. And I think I would rather get this than this because there's not a difference. There is no difference in the two at all. You know, if you guys ever go to the Dollar Tree, get it and try it. There's no difference. I mean, I know somebody might say that they don't want this because it's cheap or, you know, it's a dollar. I mean, you know, but this is, I'm just, I'm really amazed at this. Like I have been spending my time buying this little thing for a dollar, having to use so much when this was sitting right here looking at me in my face. So I'm going to keep trying this for the next couple of months. And if it's something I like, when I do more of my returns, I'm going to get this. So this right here is really good from the Dollar Tree. Like I'm just 20 seven ounces 50 ounces and even if i use a lot of this it still won't compare to this little bottle but yeah so that's something to think about i'm going to test it and see let you guys know let you know how my dollar tree return is going i just did one and um get into this right here now i'm about to go and try a little bit of this zolt to wash something and i'm going to see how well it works and i'm gonna let you guys know but i'm gonna I went online and they actually had the Zolt detergent, but it's already uh, shredded. So I did go on Walmart.com. It was like two something. But the way that these people on YouTube is doing the DIY laundry detergent. And when buying the items, I mean, you might spend. Let me see. One girl said about thirty five dollars. Um, I don't know if it's that. And you're spending $35 on all the items and it's lasting a year. I mean, you, you really can't, you, you're not, you're not losing anything. So, um, from what I've seen is one of these OxyClean, um, baking soda, baking, um, Armour Hammer baking soda. And then it's Armour Hammer, Armour, Armour Hammer, Arm and Hammer. Um, washing booster, read the box, um, Borex, OxyClean, and then like the little, um, crystal, sh um, little softeners. It's like, you can, um, what was it? Like the, I forgot. They're like little crystals and they smell really good to make your clothes smell good. But anyway, just, just, just put in, um, DIY laundry detergent and you will see it and you see everything that everyone's using. I actually made a list and saw some people doing this. So I'm going to do it. It's not going to be now, but it'll probably be, um, when all my detergent is going and then I'll start using it and see how that works. But like I said, my goal is to, once I get a whole bunch of these, they all work out. I'm going DIY my laundry detergent. I'm going DIY my dish detergent. Um, so I'm trying to think of other stuff that I can do 
to cut back. Um, I would probably learn how to coupon so I can just coupon toilet tissue. And I'll probably do a stock on that when it, when what I have to get low, which is going to be a while. And it's just me in the house. So um, I'm not going to rush on that. I'm trying to think of stuff that I will constantly have to buy. And right now, with me doing my returns, I'll have enough cleaning supplies. I'll have enough um, laundry detergent. I use Brillo pad. I don't know if I want to... If I get the steel wool, they get rusted. Like, I don't... I want something that has the same consistency of a Brillo pad, but don't get rusty and then scrape my, my, my pots and pans up. If I can find something and I can get about, maybe about, I don't know, four of them or two and they can last a long time, then I'll be fine because I don't have to use it for another year. So I'm trying to get stuff where I'm stocked up for a whole year and I don't have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. So laundry bar stain remover. I don't know how to pronounce it. Check it out. That and so just Google it. Google it, Google it, Google it. And I'll let you guys know how these work out. But Dawn, I don't think I'm going to be really messing with Dawn like this. I'll just probably use up the ones that I have. I'm going to continue with this. This is my first time trying it and see what happens. So figure I'll drop a quick video letting you know. And that's about it. Tomorrow is, today's Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Um, and... I have nothing to do. I have to do a return in the morning. I'm going to a different Dollar Tree in the morning. And I have to get like the placards, like the floss placards. I'm going to get one of those. Um, another bottle of cleaning stuff. Another bottle of toothpaste. And I'm trying to see. I'm trying to figure out what else I can get. I might get some Comet. I can't find the reusable rags cloth that I want. I, they don't have it. So that sucks. But I need to probably just walk through my house and see what I really need. But it's just, it has to be cleaning item stuff that I'm really going to use and that I really um, need. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to see if the cons consistency is the same. All right. So they're both on the side. So let me do like this. This is thicker. They bring all that to the front. You know what? Hold on. Okay. I got a full bottle. So let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to put both on the side. I just want to see the consistency in it. All right. This is thicker. This is thicker than this. Yep. This is way, this is thicker. This is much looser. I don't know. I just, wow. Oh, well. You live and you learn. You guys have a great day. I would, I have an upload going up tomorrow, which is Saturday. So I'm going to get that uploaded. And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care.